The life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is a very complex one, but one that I urge all of us to investigate. Here I walk you through a day in my life where I went on a journey and video recorded some of the historical locations, places, and documentation of the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Of course, he was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the block Dr. King grew up on. Auburn Avenue and Hogue, right in the corner. He probably ran up and down the street. Look at these old school houses over here, y'all. King was apparently he's probably upper middle class. Middle class, upper middle class. Phew, his home looked better than most people I know's home. That's back in the day. How y'all doing? All right. All right. People still live in these homes here. Wow. Look at historic sites, shotgun houses. These duplexes are typical of the houses where Atlanta's blue collar laborers live in the early 1900s, the Empire Textile Company built them for its white mill workers, but they moved out after the 1906 Atlanta race riot and blacks began renting them. The houses generally are one room wide and up to four rooms deep. They are called shotgun houses because the interior and exterior doors are aligned, so a shot supposedly could be fired through them from the front and back. Another theory is that the name comes from the African word Tugun, which means a place of assembly. He is a graduate of an HBCU Morehouse College. He goes on to continue his education in Chester, Pennsylvania at a school there, leading on to get his doctorate degree and then moving into his life as an activist and as a Baptist preacher. Take a look at this. Of course, you can't mention Brother King without mentioning Brother Malcolm and the irony of how their lives collided ideologically in the beginning and then how they began to merge towards the end where they looked at working together and while King was anti-violence and Malcolm was pro self-defense after the riots, the uprising, the civil disobedience in Los Angeles, we find in an essay for Dr. King entitled Beyond the Los Angeles Riots. By 1965, King says in this essay, Beyond the Los Angeles Riots, that what he's going to start doing is to use nonviolent civil disobedience as a peaceful sword that paralyzes cities to produce justice that goes beyond civil rights and voting rights acts. That's what the country truly feared when the merging of the ideology of Malcolm X and Dr. King came together.
clothing worn by Dr. King during marches for the freedom and justice. Dr. King's travel clock. Dr. King's books on Indian Gandhi. Wow, the rain motel and hotel key. That's crazy. That's his hat, his gloves, shirt. Wrangler. He should come out with a Martin Luther King Wrangler line. <laughs> his Armani cologne. Some cufflinks. Okay. I see you, King. His wallet. What's the initials on it? I wish for some cash in there. I guess this is for his passport. Yeah, passport holders. London. More stuff on Gandhi. That robe. It's a letter. One of his handwritten speeches. It is handwriting. Some people can't even write in cursive anymore. <laughs> This passport is not valid for travel to or in Egypt, Israel, Jordan, or Syria, or Hungary. Hmm, wonder what was going on then. 